guys, I am still currently sitting on the floor and also Dukes won't stop whining. So I think maybe he wanted to say hi. Let's not show everyone our phone numbers. Yay! <sighs> Doggy noises, drinking water, barking outside because a leaf flew by. Today, I wanted to show you my travel bag. As some of you may know, I currently live in California and Daniel and I are traveling across country to North Carolina. We are driving because we have dogs and so it's about a 34 hour drive. Lord, give me patience, give me strength, give me good shuffle options for my music we should be good. Because my makeup collection is pretty extensive, I packed a lot of makeup. <laughs> because I wanna keep filming videos even when we're gonna be hopping around hotels and staying in a hotel for a matter of time until we find our next home. So my actual whole travel bag is pretty large. It's a whole book bag <laughs> that I'm bringing. But in today's video, I'll just be showing you my, really my go-to makeup bag. This is the makeup travel bag that I bring when I go on week-long trips or I go on a, for a couple of days because that's more realistic of what I would actually bring most of the time. This is a pretty big bag, but it's, I don't think if I even tried to zip it up, it would zip all the way. I love this bag. It's so cute. I love that it's black and deep like my soul, but then it still has that glitter and shimmer shine effect that's like, hi, I'm still special though. I'll be going through each product that is in this bag. Ooh. Hold it. I just got my hair done. I think it looks so much better. It looks healthy and it's lightened up for summer. First things first, I didn't put it in this bag, but I always use a moisturizer first or sometimes use a toner and then I put on moisturizer in the mornings as my first thing. Let's get into this. All right, primer. I think I have three in here just because they serve different purposes. This one is the Becca Backlight Priming Filter. I don't know why that is such a tongue twister to me. I love using this when I want a glow to the skin, but it doesn't make me dewy. I just look naturally healthy when I have this on. Oh man, I'm gonna dig for another primer. Okay, so I technically have four primers in this. Call me high maintenance, ma. <laughs> All the way from the bottom. This one is the Soap and Glory One Heck of a Blot Instant Perfecting Power Primer. This says that it has Shine Block 12 Hour Matte Spheres and Pore Shrink Technology. This does fill in my pores pretty well and it does contain my oil. Sometimes I use this just to fill in my pores though and then I go in with another primer, so like maybe that Becca one, and put it over on top of this one. So this one fills in my pores and the other one makes me look alive. <clears throat> okay. This is the Too Faced Proactive and Nourishing Hangover Replenishing Face Primer. This has coconut water, probiotic base ingredient, and skin revivers. It does state that it is silicone free, which I love. I can't stand primers that make it feel slippery and all silicone-y. It, it just ain't for me. I love to use this when I know I need an extra oomph of hydration. I feel like my skin loves this and just soaks it up and drinks it all up. It makes me feel like I'm at a spa day when I put this on. This one I have been recently using. It's technically a primer, but I actually mix it in with my foundations because this is a color correcting primer. I love to use the pink tone because some of my foundations are just a titch too yellow for me. I like to mix this in it to cool it back down a bit and having a pink color corrector in it also helps brighten up that foundation as well. It is the NYX Color Correcting Liquid Primer. It says it gives luminosity to dull skin. This has been a great product for me so far. After primers, I usually then do spray my face with another hydrating mist. <laughs> this one I've been really enjoying. It's the Pixi Hydrating Milky Mist. It is a youth preserving mist. Love how fine the mist is with this. I just don't like how I have to press down so many dang times to drown myself in it. That's why I really like the Morphe Continuous Spray because it's in, just like an aerosol can, you just press it down once and it's just a continuous spray until you let go. So I wish that had this mechanism, but I mean, it works. I just 
gotta moving on to foundation um this one's peeking out at me and this has actually been my go-to right now i think just because the color of it for me is spot on right now because i'm not fake tanning as much i just really wish it lasted longer on me too Faced Born This Way Foundation. It is undetectable, medium to full coverage foundation, and it is oil free. Mine is in the shade Snow. Yay. You already know what it is. Of course, my physician's formula, the Healthy Foundation. It has a brightening complex, it has SPF 20 in it, and it is made for all skin types. That right there, I believe, is so true for all skin types. I truly believe if you have any skin type, this is gonna look bomb on you. Because of the finish of it, it's so natural looking. It's not too matte, it's not too dewy. It bugs me so much when a brand launches a new foundation or a concealer. It literally states on the bottle that it's a long wearing matte foundation. And then it continues to say, for all skin types. <laughs> what? No. How is that gonna be good for a person who has dry Sahara skin? It is not for all skin types. Don't tell lie. A, another foundation in here is another Too Faced foundation. This one is the Do You Full Coverage Fresh Glow Foundation. It is infused with juicy watermelon and fresh cucumber. Again, mine is in the shade Snow. I know I have two Two Faced foundations. However, this one does show up lighter on my skin than the Born This Way foundation. I'm not sure why, because it's the same shade. And I love mixing it with other foundations that are more of my skin tone. All right, is that? No, I do have one more foundation. I have so many foundations because I love mixing and matching them. I am so sad because I just discovered that Ulta no longer sells it on their website. It's still available on essence.com. I wish more people would use it or try it out because it really is such a beautiful foundation. This lasts so long on me and I mix it with so many of my foundations so that it can last longer. This is the Essence Fresh and Fit Awake Makeup Foundation with a vitamin complex in cranberry water so that you can achieve that healthy glow. Mine is in the shade 10. It is the lightest shade in the shade, well, say shade one more time in the shade oh, fresh ivory okay that should be all my foundations <laughs> i technically have two concealers this is the too faced born this way naturally radiant concealer um it does what it says it's naturally radiant one of the reasons why i don't really use tarte shape tape anymore is that it makes my under eyes and my cheek area right here look so incredibly dry and patchy so i've been using this in more glowy concealer it helps my under eyes look plump and hydrated i like to use this concealer when i need something more full coverage this isn't as radiant or glowy as the Too faced concealer um but it's not as matte as the shape tape okay should we do powder <laughs> i am so sick of going out and buying powder with my own money coming back home and trying it out and I hate it. That's just like 10, $15 that I just wasted and I've done that a few times now. If you have a good cruelty-free, please only cruelty-free powders that you absolutely love, please let me know down below. I don't care if it's drugstore, high-end, please just leave me your recommendations of your die-hard powders because I need help. But I've been using this for the longest time now. It is the Milani Translucent Light to Medium Powder. It says that it absorbs oils and mattifies. I mean, I think it does what a powder should do. It doesn't wow me. It just, it does what it is supposed to do. I am almost out, so please drop your powder recommendations below. Should we get into bronzers? <laughs> My favorite part. Okay, bronzers. I have three in here. Um, the first one being my one true love, besides Daniel. This is the Marc Jacobs Omega Bronze in the shade Tantastic. You will achieve a coconut perfect tan. I love that it has the big mirror. It just looks so luxurious. I really just want to put it on my vanity just like this as like a display. The smell. Everything about it is love. Love, 
love 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 the next bronzer that i've been really into is the bomb cosmetics take home the bronze anti-orange bronzer and this is in the shade oscar it's just so cute it's a little booklet you guys and then there's a little mirror on that side like look at the size comparison next it's this is another true love of mine milk milk this is the milk makeup matte cream bronzer stick this is in the shade baked i mean oh i mean sure why not i can always use more bronzer but it doesn't have a smell really i mean it smells kind of like play-doh but i don't i only smell it because i'm literally trying to smell it but when i apply it on my face i don't smell anything this bronzer it looks beautiful on my skin they do have two shades of this i have the lightest one i can't wait to use more of their products because I've, i'm just so in love with this this one i use for contouring i don't really use the concealer side at all i use a contour side a lot i am almost I am almost out of this hard candy contour and highlight face duo stick mine is in the shade light great contour color we are reaching near the end here blushes 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 i think i have both of them in here yes i do i do these are the milani baked blushes I have mine in the shade Berry Amore and Luminoso. They're just gorgeous blushes. They really truly are. They are drugstore, they're cruelty free, so you're not paying a fortune to have bomb products. I think, yeah, this is the last thing for the face. This is my go-to highlighting palette. This is by Flower Beauty. It is the Shimmer and Strobe Highlighting Palette. Long lasting, natural luminous glow, sheer coverage. I can tell you right now though, there is nothing sheer about this product. This is probably the most blinding drugstore highlight I've ever seen and that you will probably ever see. My favorite go-to shade, but this highlight is so gorgeous. I have it on my cheeks right now. I guess I'll just show you my sponges. These are my go-to sponges. This is the Ego Tools Beauty Sponge, the Morphe Contour and Sculpting Sponge. This is probably actually my favorite, but this one comes close and this one is disastrous. Please just mind your business. This is a Real Techniques Beauty Sponge, but these sponges, good, they good. We're almost there, you guys. I have been getting back into this brow pencil. It is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil and this is in the shade Taupe. I wish this pencil was cheaper than it is. It's about $10. I love pencils that have that really small tip just because it's easier to sculpt out shape and color in my brows. Loving this pencil because the color is so spot on. It really is just a perfect color taupe. It's a perfect cool tone. It doesn't make my brows look too dark, too red. Some taupes on me look way too red. So this one is just the perfect cool toned taupe that I love and desire for me brows. And it does come with a little spoolie, which I always use as well. So that's really handy. After I fill in my brows, I use the Essence Bake Me Brow Eye Brow Gel Mascara. This is what I have on my eyebrows right now and actually only this. I didn't fill in my brows today. I love the Essence Clear Gel Brow Mascara, but it doesn't hold up as well as this one. And this one is tinted. These are just Q-tips I keep in my bag um, for whatever i need them for this orange thing is a little compact mirror it's pretty cool one side is like regular magnification 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 and the other side is like the 10 times one really cool it's really dirty because it's been at the bottom of my bag but i got this at the dollar tree i love the dollar tree for random little things like this i do have some lip products I don't know why I always keep this in the box, but I do. I've been really liking this, especially right now in the middle of winter and me living in the desert. My nose and my lips get unearthly dry. It's to the point where if I don't put something super hydrating, moisturizing on my lips before I go to bed, 
I will wake up with cracked bloody lips. I use this, I also just use regular Vaseline petroleum jelly. It makes it look super glossy because of the oils in it. It's the Pixie by Petra Nourishing Lip Polish. This has apricot, grapefruit, avec, and pample mousse. I probably screwed up so many of those words. <laughs> it is a gentle lip scrub. It does give my lips a little scrub, a little massage, making them feel real nice, making them look real nice so I don't have any dead skin, but the oils left over really moisturize my lips so well. I always have this chapstick on me. I have probably three on me at all times. It's the Eco Lips Mongo Kiss with Mongongo Oil. I know they have different um, scents or flavors of this, so I really wanna try those out, but the one I have is in Vanilla Honey. It's way better than any, um, like the actual chapstick brand. It's way better than any of those I've tried. This is just something I kinda throw in my purse because it's small, it doesn't take up that much room, and it just gives me my really my go-to color. This is the Bite Beauty Matte Cream Lip Crayon, and this is in the shade Glace. I think it's the perfect size for traveling, so that is what I just hurry up and put on my lips when I feel like I need some color. We are on to eyes. Um, I didn't have room to put my eyeshadow palette in here, so I'm just gonna swoop into this other bag real quick. I always take this palette, this eyeshadow palette with me anytime I travel because of the size and because of one shade. The Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Eyeshadow Palette. It's a perfect travel size palette. It really is and it has a mirror. It makes it super easy to apply your eyeshadow on the go. One shade I'm talking about is that shade. I don't like saying that sound, so I won't. Um, S-H-H-H. I hit pan, you guys. I don't really hit pan on a lot of eyeshadows. I don't know, maybe it's because I have a lot and I just, I don't, I'm not consistent with one palette on the time. All the colors in this palette are gorgeous, but my go-to is it's what I have on right now. It's such a perfect cool tone brown. My lash is definitely coming off. Do a lash glue, you suck. It's only because I couldn't find my other one. Okay, take two. I do have a eye crayon in here. This is the NYX Jumbo Eye Pencil in the shade Black Bean. I use this one, I just want a quick smoky eye. I'll just put it really by my lash line and a little bit above and then smoke it out and add the brown color from the Dark Magic palette. It's the most simple, easiest smoky eye. So it's just quick. That's what I love to do when I'm traveling. I'm not trying to spend a bunch of time on my makeup. I'd rather be going out and exploring. So this is what I love to use when I need something quick and fast, but I still wanna look good. A short little story slash advice for you. I went into an actual NYX store in person um, when I bought this product, and along with it, they sell specific sized eye pencil sharpeners because this is just a thicker pencil, but just a stupid, cheap plastic eye sharpener was about $10. When the um, worker told me this, I was like, I mean, I know she doesn't make the prices, but I was like, are you serious? Like that little cheap thing is $10. No, thank you. But I needed something to sharpen this. Essence. They have a jumbo eye pencil sharpener on one side and then on the other side, you can sharpen regular size pencils. You know how much I got that one for? A dollar. My eyeliners. These are just the eyeliners I like to keep in my travel bag because they are what I use the most. This is the Physician's Formula Eye Booster 2-in-1 Lash Boosting Eyeliner plus Serum. And this is in the shade Ultra Black. It's a perfect tip that's not too stiff, it's not too flexible. Wherever you put it is where there's gonna be a sharp line. For a good coal black eyeliner that doesn't smudge, Mali Beauty Evercolor Starlight Waterproof Liner. I have mine in the shade Midnight. I use this a lot to color my waterline up here to make my lashes look more full. And um, today I just dabbed this a little on my lower lash line and I stopped right about here to make my eyes look more big. Mascara, this is such a good classic mascara for me. Essence, I love Extreme Crazy Volume Mascara. Essence has some of the 
best mascaras for the cheapest price you can find. I am not a fan of fiber mascaras just because those tend to transfer and flake on me like crazy throughout the day. I don't like those black little specks all over my cheeks. So this is one of their few that do not have those fibers in it. For lashes, I don't have them in my bag right now. For a little, just a titch of extra lift, I really like the Ardell Demi Wispy lashes. The Wispies I like, but sometimes they're just a little too long for me. So the Demi Wispies I really do enjoy for really just a natural look. The ones that I'm wearing right now, I've been really enjoying, and these are the House of Lashes Spellbound Lashes. I love the wispy, fluttery look it has. That's what I mostly look for in a lash. Just so pretty. The last product I have for you is the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. This is such a good spray. It's a little pricier for drugstore sprays. It's, a, it's around $15. I like to spray my facial spray on when I'm totally done with my base. So my primer, foundation, concealer, powder, bronzer, blush. I spray this on to settle all the powders and creams together. And then I put on my highlight so the highlight be popping. My bag is completely empty. My sultry, dark, sexy bag that I claim to be my personality. So these products is what's going to be in my travel makeup bag as I go across country along with this huge other book bag that I showed you. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to hit that subscribe button before you go. And if you want to hit that bell along with it, it'll just notify you every time that I upload. I do appreciate all your support and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.